I'm going to take a nap. <laughs> Mark it down. Hey everyone, Dan and Leslie back again for another Disney dining review. Tonight, we are headed somewhere we've never been before, so it's always exciting. We are going to Caribbean Beach Resort and eating at Sebastian's Bistro. I'm excited about this. This is um, one that I've actually wanted to try for a while, but we just never get to Caribbean yeah. Beach when we are out and about. So we are kind of going out of our way to go specifically to Sebastian's Bistro. I've heard good things, yeah, but it's different now i think right yeah so i'm pretty sure it was not a prefix meal before but it appears it is now um so we just looked at the menu to prep for the video and i was like oh i was it kind of caught me off guard a little bit um because honestly this is not one that um even clients have me book for them very often um i, I trying to remember if I've ever booked Sebastian's Bistro. <laughs> but I think that it's one of those that gets kind of missed. At least I'm hoping. I'm hoping that it's a really good experience tonight. That's because Caribbean Beach is, I mean, who's going to Caribbean Beach unless you're staying there? Uh, that's what, That's a fair point. Why would you go? <laughs> <laughs> um, so they have some really interesting looking um, beverages. They have one that is an island time seasonal margarita. I'm really secretly hoping that they uh, recommend that because it's got a seasonal flavor. Interesting. And Interesting. then there's a marooned pig old fashioned. <laughs> I love old fashions. <laughs> So um, I don't know. And then there's some other really cool looking um, beverages, but the meal itself. So this is a great place to go if you're plant based as well, because you can go, even though it's prefix, you can go with like a plant-based option or you can go with the regular option. So either way you get the house baked rolls with um, guava butter and caramelized onion jam. Sounds good. Yes. All right. And then there's a, uh, a little um, salad called the spice necklace salad. That <laughs> The cat is now climbing on top of me, okay? All right. Oh, she's like, nope, I don't want to climb on you. I want to climb on mom. This one has like greens and kale with toasted pumpkin seeds, grilled pineapple, orange, spiced candied walnuts, and radish with key lime dressing. Okay, I, key lime dressing sounds good. I know, it all sounds amazing. And then your Taste of the Caribbean main portion for uh, like the regular, it's got oven roasted citrus chicken, um, a slow cooked pork with mango sambal, grilled flank steak uh, with a cilantro rice and beans, vegetable curry and grilled broccolini. And then basically the difference with the plant-based side is that you get impossible kebabs, fried jerk tofu and impossible hmm. sausage. Interesting. So I'm very intrigued. I might actually go with the plant-based. Really? And then you could try the regular and then okay. we could get them all both. right. What about desserts? What do desserts look oh, like? Oh, it's the pineapple coconut bread pudding. <laughs> <laughs> I may be getting my own, just so you know. What? <laughs> <laughs> I bet not. I bet once we eat all that Probably. food, you're gonna, you're gonna think differently. All so. right, well, we are almost late. Are we ready to do this? Let's do it. All right. place already <laughs> so you don't it have to choose you don't have to choose anything um, it comes with like Leslie said earlier the bread and a salad and yep. you can add on six coconut shrimp six for eight dollars it is six for eight dollars after the appetizers they bring out three different meats and three different sides and so those are preset for you for you yeah I had considered doing the plant based but since it's just two of us and I kind of want to try the meats and I don't know I gave up she didn't want to be difficult I got the island time seasonal margarita and the flavor right now is chipotle pineapple yeah. so it's got a little bit of a kick i got the marooned pig old-fashioned which has buffalo trace uh kentucky bourbon bacon infused pure maple syrup and angostura bitters and bacon that's really good actually it's really well done yeah you can taste the maple and the bacon which i love that's a good drink well, that's a good drink that's good um i'm getting a lot of pineapple on the top there's definitely a kick to that. I got the kick. 
That's very good. We got our um, coconut shrimp, which looks amazing. This yummy looking salad, which also looks really fabulous. It's got some unique things in there. And then these little pull apart, pull apart rolls with onion jam and what kind of butter? I don't know, some butter. Some kind of butter. <laughs> mm. Mm. That's super good. This has like the sweetness of the coconut, but then whatever that aioli is kind of brings out like, like a, a savory richness. That is cooked really, really well. A lot of times fried shrimp will either be too hard or too mm. soggy. That was perfect actually. Mm -hmm. This is really well done. Eight dollars for that is a really good deal too. The roll is not super hot. But I did try some of that onion jam just off my knife after I put it on the roll, and that onion jam it is, is so good. fantastic. I like that a lot. Yeah. That is really, really good. I would prefer the roll to be a little hotter, but other than that, like, this is killer. Our food just got delivered too, so we're getting ready to try the salad. I'm super excited for this. I really like that dressing. It is very, very tropical. It's like a key lime dressing. Um, and then like the mixture of like the pumpkin seeds and the candied walnuts and, and everything else, it, it just, it feels very islandy. It goes really, really well. Um, I think I prefer the roll with the onion jam and the shrimp. The coconut shrimp is uh -huh. hands down awesome. These side dishes came out. Cilantro and bean rice. Rice and beans. Yes. Uh, a curried vegetable and broccolini. We have a chicken, a pork, and a steak. I'm not even sure where to start. I know. So let's start with the rice and beans. Okay. Pretty dry, actually. Mm. The curry vegetable is actually quite good. Yes. And the broccolini, it's a little underdone. A little salty. So we'll do plain pork first. It's got great flavor. It's really well done. It's not overdone, it's not dry. Very good. Yeah. Try it with some of this, what is this, mango salsa? Mango salmba. Salmba. I think it's good, but I think I prefer the pork by itself, actually. Yeah, I don't think it adds anything. I do like the steak better with the, the little cucumber small stuff that's with it. Do you like it? I'm chewing. I like the steak. It is <clears throat> cooked pretty well. There's pink in there. I asked for medium rare and it's close. I think it could probably be maybe a little overdone, but it's close. Um, I'd say this is a better steak than like Space 220. I think this is cooked yeah. very better. It's a little chewy. It's not super flavorful by itself. I think that's why it benefits from that cucumber, whatever. Chicken is very, very well done. Very cooked very well. As far as flavor, the chicken is the best thing on the plate. The spices on there are superb. Like, the pork isn't, I mean, it's a shredded pork. There's not a f lot of flavor in it. Like, it's, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, yeah. But the spices on the chicken, that, that's really tasty, very flavorful there. Okay, so thoughts on all of the food pre-bread pudding. I think this whole restaurant is strictly built to get people in and out as fast as humanly possible. Um, we got our main course uh, before we had even tasted all of our appetizers. So that's a little bit of a bummer because I think that while the quality is good, um, I think it suffers a little bit from that, just like trying to push people through. So they obviously have things like done back there and are waiting to be plated. What do you think? Yeah, yeah, I would agree with that. But I mean, it's, it's a, I think it's a solid choice, especially if you're staying here. I'm not sure that I would come out of my way necessarily to eat here, but I think if you were staying at Caribbean Beach or even over at Riviera and you wanted a nice, quick, place to sit down and have a solid meal, like this would be a great place to come. Yep, this is what I've been waiting for. <laughs> Look at that. So I just had a little bit of the caramel. Mm. Yeah. Okay, the caramel alone is amazing. Are you ready? Mm. I'm in heaven. No. <laughs> is this better than Ohana? I'm gonna say yes. One, it's larger. It's bigger. It's thicker. And two, I don't think Ohana has the coconut. Even though I've always kind of thought it did, but I don't think it did. Whenever we had it the other night, I don't think it did. 
feel like there are bigger chunks of pineapple in this. This elevates the entire food experience. You just took that coconut bite. I'm not even sorry. <laughs> are you kidding me? <laughs> we'll review all the food individually when we get back home, but that bread pudding is phenomenal. Top notch. <laughs> um, I think that's it. I think we are going to wrap this up and finish up at home. Yep. That bread pudding pushed me over the edge. I'm gonna take a nap. <laughs> Before we get started, if you would like help planning your next magical vacation, we would love to help. Check us out at fantasticalvacations.com. We are a concierge travel agency specializing in Disney, Universal, all cruise lines, and some all-inclusive resorts. Even Dexter wants to get in on the action. <laughs> It doesn't cost anything extra. There is zero cost to you to use a travel agent specializing in these destinations and we would be honored to help. Actually, Sebastian's Bistro, it was just like rethemed not that long ago. I think it is good for what it is. So. Yeah, yeah, so let's start with ambiance and theming. Um, there are splashes of Sebastian around from Little Mermaid. Um, it's, it's definitely got a island kind of Caribbean feel to it. It is refreshed, it is new, but it's not like over the top theming. I liked that they didn't have us all crammed in together. That is nice. Yeah, we weren't like, and I mean, we were a table of two. We didn't ask for a special table, but we got a table of four. We got a four top, which was very nice. Mm -hmm. I didn't even see any two tops I in there. I didn't either. So um, I, I do like that. It's, so yeah. it, was, it was nice, it was open, but there wasn't anything over the top on the theming. Yeah. So I think, yeah, three, straight up average. Yeah, yeah. All right, so let's talk about service. Service was great, except for it was too good. <laughs> if that makes sense. Like there is, it's like a little dance, right? So you go into a restaurant and you don't want to come on too strong and deliver all the food at once because you can't eat all the food at once. That's right. why there's courses. With Sebastian's Bistro, it's prefix, which means everybody gets the same thing. Yeah. Which means it's all pre-prepared back there which means they can bring it out as fast as they want, and they did. We, we hadn't even tried all of the appetizers and our food was there. And he even said, are you ready for dinner? And I was like, not really. No. <laughs> he was like, well, it can sit here. And I was like, okay. Our waiter was great. Yeah. Uh, and everybody was perfectly nice. The chef even walked by and asked us how the food was. And it just like, it actually was a detractor that it was too fast because I'm sitting there looking at my main course, yeah. the three side dishes and the three meats there. And I'm thinking that's getting cold while I'm trying to enjoy the salad. And yeah. so that takes away from my experience. I think overall, I would give it a 3.5. What do you think? Yeah, I would agree with that. So let's talk about drinks because this was actually a highlight for me. It really was. There were some very, very unique options on this menu to the point of um, there was like a build your own old fashioned. Like with, with rum. So you got to choose your type of rum. You got to choose your bitters and you got to choose like your, your sweetener. So you could do like a maple syrup or I don't even remember what all the uh, options were. Some mango, something. <laughs> but yeah, that is like super inventive and very, very uh, refreshing to see because a lot of these, especially like these, I wouldn't expect to see that at a moderate resort restaurant, right? Yeah. And nothing against moderate resorts, but you would right. expect to see like build your own mojito or uh, old fashioned options at like a deluxe resort. And I really enjoyed the fact that I had a seasonal margarita. So it was the chipotle pineapple. I peeked at the other flavors for the other parts of the seasons and I would have been happy with many of them. Like I want to, I want to go back and try all of them at the different seasons because it was very, very well done. So the one thing that maybe knocks them down just a hair is that the drinks came from the pool bar right next door. Um, at least I assume they did. I didn't see another bar in there. It was yeah. basically just the seating area in the kitchen. But whatever, the drinks were great. I think it's they definitely were. above average. I would give it a four. Yes, hundred percent. Four. Food. Um, the. Appetizers were solid. Like I really thought the salad was inventive. It um, it very much had like an island feel to it. My problem with the bread is that the bread was not warm, and yeah. then the butter was too cold. You know how you like yeah. you, you 
get into some butter and it's like you're like you have to like smear it on the bread because it's not creamy and and I don't know it it was yeah. too cold. The jam, the onion jam was flavored excellently. Now this is an upcharge, so it's an additional eight dollars yes. to get the six coconut shrimp. So um, it's hard it's hard to rate it on this because it is an upcharge, but that was probably the best appetizer that was on our table. Hundred percent, it was definitely good. So I don't know, I mean. I guess that's kind of a wash because it was fantastic, but it was an extra $8. But I mean, $8 for six wonderful coconut shrimp with this aioli, like you go to yeah. Epcot to any food booth and this beats anything in Epcot hands down and you wouldn't get six huge coconut shrimp for $8 anywhere in Epcot. So it was really good. I think it was a good value for that. So main courses, these side dishes were nothing spectacular at all. As far as the meat goes, the chicken was done very, very well. Like was. that was probably the best thing on the whole, um, on the whole thing. I think, I think she might smell some leftover <laughs> or something. <laughs> um, and the steak was okay. Like it was, it was done pretty well. Um, it, it had a decent enough flavor. The pork mm. had a good flavor initially, but it was just like a like a scoopful of shredded pork. The bread pudding. <laughs> Coconut pineapple bread pudding. This is worth a trip. It was, it was good. It was incredible. For me, the appetizers and the dessert elevates the experience. The entree, not so much. Yeah. What are we thinking? So I think we decided on 3.5. Yeah, that sounds right. Three and a half is I think appropriate. It is definitely, when you look across the spectrum of appetizer through dessert, it is a, an above average experience, which makes it even better for $29 per person, because mm. that was a lot of food. I give you a hint, we didn't even eat half of all the food. We've got a take home box in there <laughs> yeah. with more than half of the meat left over. There was a pile of meat on that plate. Yeah. Um, we did eat all of the appetizers and all the bread pudding, but I mean, probably two thirds of our entree that we brought home and the kids will devour that stuff. So <laughs> if you add all that up, it gets a three and a half out of five, three and a half stars out of five, which I think is right. I yeah. think this is definitely, especially for the price. The price is really, really good. You can go here, not get the drinks, if you want to have a reasonably priced experience and you don't have to worry about ordering anything expensive or whatever because it's all a prefix meal, $29 for an adult, that's a good deal. I don't know that I would go out of my way to eat here at Caribbean Beach, but if I was staying at Caribbean Beach or maybe even staying at Riviera, I think it's a solid choice. Well, if you are enjoying these videos, please do not forget to like and subscribe below so that you don't miss the next one. We have lots of fun reservations coming up in the future, so you won't wanna miss them. All right, we will see you on the next video.